like you're an odd one out you feel like nobody understands what you're going through you feel like things just don't make sense you feel like you're the hi guys welcome back welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here this is the place to be you will love it here my name's rodna and i'm your purpose and personal development coach and on this channel we talk about all things faith purpose and personal development now today we're talking about how to know that you are set apart by god or how to know that god is setting you apart for something for a specific reason i'm going to be sharing with you three ways to know that god is setting you apart so what does that even mean i feel like that's christian lingo what does it mean to be set apart and by the way if you see me looking down i've got some bible verses and some notes so don't be alarmed i'm not on my phone on instagram um so what does it mean to be set apart to be set apart means to be separate it means to reserve to keep something for a specific purpose if there's 10 skittles for example in a jar and i remove one and i put one here because i want to give it to somebody i'm setting that one skittle aside for a specific purpose um and that's what it means and that's what god does to us when god sets us apart he separates us from the bunch he separates us from our friends from our family for a season so that he can speak to us and that's what it means when we say um i'm set apart or i'm separated for something it's god pulling us away from the world from the things of the world from our lifestyles from the way we speak from a bunch of things and god is drawing us away from the world so that we can speak to him and he can speak to us and we can have a a, a conversation he can begin to download and reveal the things that he's got maybe you are going on to the next level of your journey and god needs to be able to give you the instructions so he sets you apart he begins to draw you closer to himself and that's what it means to be set apart so there are three ways that you can know sure proof ways that you can know that god is setting you apart for something i'm going to read from first peter 2 verses 9 to 10 or verse 9 and it says but you are a chosen race a royal priesthood a consecrated nation a people for god's own possession so that you may proclaim the excellencies wonderful deeds and virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light so we are chosen we are a priest and we are consecrated for god away from the darkness away from the things of this world and he consecrates us he sets us apart uh and we go into his marvelous light and another example in acts 13 verse 2 when um the people were praying and they were fasting and in the midst of that prayer and fasting the holy spirit says in the congregation he says um set apart for me barnabas and saul which was paul for the work to which i have called them so saul and paul had to be set apart from the rest of the group because god wanted to set them apart wanted to separate them to remove them from to consecrate them for a specific purpose in which god was calling them for and it's the same thing for us so many times um i've heard oh you're set apart you're set apart but i never really understood what it meant until i had to go through that journey so the first so way that you can know that god is setting you apart for something is you can't do what you usually were able to do the conviction is real you feel convicted it might be you used to smoke or you were a smoker or you are a smoker uh, or a drinker or you swore you do the same thing that you've always been doing but now every time you do it you're more aware of it you're conscious of it something in here is saying oh that doesn't feel right or that doesn't sound right and it's sometimes really confusing because you were doing it all this time now all of a sudden it just doesn't feel right or maybe you were going clubbing or you were going certain places and the places might not even be bad places you might be going somewhere that you were always going maybe to a friend's house or um I don't know a certain restaurant and now when you go to that place you feel weird about it like there's a check in your spirit um or there's just something that feels wrong something that feels off and you're like oh that doesn't feel right um and that's one way that you can know when the things that you used to do don't feel the way that it did so you might try and force yourself to go anyway but when you're there you know that you know that you know that you know that you're not supposed to be there and you're actively like going against 
if you're saved and born again you're going against the holy spirit telling you you should not be here you should not be going to that place the holy spirit is setting you apart and telling you draw away pull away from that crowd pull away from those people pull away from that situation pull away from porn pull away from drugs pull away from smoking pull away from those habits overeating um pull away from those things and when you go to do it you're like oh this feels weird this feels wrong you don't know why it feels wrong but that could be one reason why and how god is setting you apart you just feel convicted the holy spirit is telling you this is not right you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be following this it's, he's convicting you of a sin or something that's just not right sometimes i think it's really hard i think it's harder when it's something that doesn't look like it's bad or it's not blatantly a sin so for example you could be going to your friend's house all the time and that's it's not a sin to go to your friend's house but then all of a sudden on one particular day you feel like i'm, re I'm not really supposed to be going there there is no physical tangible logical expl explanation as to why you shouldn't be going there but you just know inside in here where the holy spirit resides in you inside he's telling you don't go there and that's him separating you that's him um pulling you apart from those things the things that might be sinful the things that are no longer good for you and it may be not good for you but that doesn't mean it's not good for the next person so just because your other friends are going doesn't mean that gives you the permission to go so everyone else can be doing it but you're convicted they don't have your conviction your relationship with god is your relationship with god it's got nothing to do with everybody anybody else or everybody else yeah let them go if you feel in your heart you're not supposed to be doing something please do not do it if you feel and 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 here's the thing here's how conviction works you're the only one that could be convicted there or it could be a few of you but they may never say but at the end of the day your relationship with god is your relationship with god you were born on this earth by yourself unless you're a twin or a triple or whatever. but essentially you are born on this earth and your relationship with god is between you and god so it doesn't matter whether your friends are doing it or not that's none of your business so that's one way that you can know that god is setting you apart when the things that you used to do are no longer enjoyable or they're no longer as fun or you're just more aware you're just you see a lot more now even when you go to those places which you shouldn't be if the holy spirit has told you not to go stay away even when you go to those places like you begin to see things and you're like where was this all this time um the holy spirit would begin to open your eyes this is not good for you he's drawing you and he's setting apart for himself so the second thing that uh, you may be happening to you when God is setting you apart is you may start to feel lonely and you may start to feel isolated from your friends and from your family. Now, I have lived this all too many times. So when God is drawing you to him and away from everyone else, you could be in a crowd full of people and feel so lonely. You could be amongst your friends that you were doing getting with and it's just not the same there's something different and sometimes like you used to go somewhere with your friends but now you just feel the the need to stay inside you're like oh, do you know what i'm just not in the mood or i, I just don't feel like going like that could be god drawing you closer to him or it could be you just want to be in your room you just want to be by yourself you don't know why but you just have the urge to turn the tv off to turn that music off to put that instagram down to put your phone down and you just you feel lonely you feel alone even if you are by yourself or even if you're a room with people you just feel inside you feel lonely and sometimes you might purposely like go to your friends to not feel lonely inside and then you go there and you're still even more lonelier than when you were in your house and that could be god drawing you closer to him sometimes it's really not even sometimes it can be really difficult to hear the voice of god amongst the noise so what he would do is he would begin to strip off the noise he'll strip off the layers of the noise you're not enjoying time with your friends anymore you're not enjoying social media anymore there is nothing that is satisfying you and you just feel alone you feel the need to pull back and to retreat and to draw and you don't understand why but actually like that could be god wanting to speak to you the jokes that you used to find funny you no longer find it funny anymore the hours that you spent on social media it's just not satisfying anymore and that is god bringing you closer to himself and removing the noise the noise the noise the noise that is in the world so that you can hear him and you can hear him clearly the bible says my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me 
how do you hear the voice of God when there is just so much chaos and sometimes God is speaking among the chaos and you don't hear him because you're not attuned to his voice so he will remove you from those situations and actually like when it's you when you're alone and it's just you and him and he begins to now tell you stuff open your bible what is the word of god saying and god speaks through his word or you might start journaling and actually like you have an amazing time with god because he wants you the only way that god can get some of yours attention is by removing the fluff and removing the noise so that's one way that god may be trying to get your attention like hello 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 draw near to me i love psalms because i feel like david had such an interesting relationship with God. There are so many times where David is literally crying out to God, like, God, I am alone. God, I am lonely. Where are you? Psalms 22 verses 1 to 2. One to two. And David says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I call out to you by day, but you do not answer. And by night, but I find no rest or quiet. He's in a wilderness season. He's looking and searching for God. He's retreating, trying to look for God and he's reaching out to God. And he can't hear God and he's reaching out and saying, God, why have you forsaken me? I am lonely. Why are you not speaking to me? You told me to separate myself. Why can I not hear you? And God sometimes will remove every single thing that is around so that you can go, my God, my God, where are you? I need to hear from you. What are you saying in this season? Now, I'm not even going to lie to you. This can be really, really hard. Feeling I, or being isolated and being lonely can be really hard and disclaimer being alone and being lonely are two different things you can be lonely or feel lonely but you are not alone because god is always with us so even though you may have feelings of loneliness because again you're isolated that doesn't make you alone because god is always with us you know he never leaves us nor forsakes us so bear that in mind so this process of being a away from the crowd it doesn't feel great i'm not even going to lie to you and front to you it doesn't feel great going through the process of being set apart it doesn't always feel great in fact it feels really really hard being alone with your thoughts being alone with your mind being alone with um those feelings of loneliness and those feelings of rejection and you know god is like trying to remove the stuff the stuff that is in us the stuff that keeps us distracted the stuff that keeps us in bondage when he separates us from the crowd he can begin to speak to us well, you know what Rodna? you need to work on pride pride is your issue you need to work on that oh you know what Rodna? you need to work on that rejection there is a seed of rejection in you you need to deal with that before i send you out into the nations you need to deal with that before i send you out to speak to that friend you need to deal with that you need to work on your humility there is no humility in you and god begins to tell us like you need to work on this you need to do this or he gives you instructions it's time to quit your job or it's time to move um to another city he can only do so when we are separated from the branch and we have got his attention and he's got our undivided attention the third way that you may know that God is setting you apart is you think that there is something wrong with you. You can't quite put your finger on it, but something is different. Something is not the same. You don't fit in like the rest of them. The jokes that they're saying are no longer funny. The places you used to go are no longer interesting to you. And you just feel like an you feel odd. You feel like an odd one out. You feel like nobody understands what you're going through. You feel like things just don't make sense you feel like you're the only person that's going through this season um there is nothing wrong with you i can assure you there is nothing wrong with you god just wants you god has set you apart and god wants your attention so the best way to get your attention is to draw you away from certain things for a specific season so that god has your attention i spent a lot of my life and i can say this from experience i spent a lot of my life thinking that there was something wrong with me i've spent a lot of time thinking that like it just like life just didn't make sense i always didn't fit in i always tried to fit in but i couldn't like i spent a lot of my life trying to fit in but i could never fit in because again i am set apart god set me apart from the time i was 18 17 so 
I stopped trying to fit in. I stopped trying to be accepted in the in 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 the cliques, the groups, the gangs. And actually, I just put my face in my Bible and I began to seek God. So there is nothing wrong with you that you can't do what others are doing. There is something right with you. There is that the reason that you feel that way is because there is something right with you. So it's not this bad thing happening to you it's not this bad experience that is god's hand on your life that's god protecting you from certain things that's god protecting you from conversations that's god protecting you from not being where you're not supposed to be and because he loves you he separates he removes you from those situations and i'm not even, like again i'm not going to lie to you it's not an easy process it's not an easy thing to do but it's worth it because at the end of that separation god will elevate you and be, god begins to purify you and remove all the stuff that's in us that is not of us the pride the hate the jealousy the selfish ambitions the drinking the smoking the gambling the sex addiction the porn and it's only in a place where of separation in a place of isolation where god begins to show us a mirror and says this is what you look like right now but you're not supposed to stay there this is what i have planned for you but in order to get from where you are now to where i need you to be god says you need to go through a season of separation you need to go through um a season of sanctification of purification where god is dealing on us and again certain things will come up certain memories certain thoughts certain feelings that will come up that are uncomfortable extremely uncomfortable but you have to sit you have to be able to be comfortable being uncomfortable for that season for god to work on you again it's not easy but god gives us the grace i have been through it i can i'm speaking from experience that god gives you the grace he would never give you more than you can't handle he will never give you what you can't handle he will never give you something that's too much for you to bear so embrace that season of isolation embrace the season where you are being set apart where god wants your attention and just be willing like pray and say god here i am speak to me god here i am use me god here i am what do you have for me what do you want to say to me what do you want me to work on where am i in this season in life where do you want me to be it could be that you want to go to a, a particular university god has got bigger plans for you it could be that you want to get married to this man that is not your husband and god is drawing you close to him so he can tell you break that relationship off is it going to be hard to break that relationship off yes it is going to be hard because you're attached you're entangled with that person but that is necessary for you to get to where god wants you to be so again just surrender surrender your life to him surrender your time to him surrender everything and say god here i am i believe that you're separating me what does that look like what do you have for me i trust you god and so many so many of us like we fight we fight we fight we fight we f you're fighting god <laughs> make that make sense you're fighting god you're defying the holy spirit and going to those places anyway you're you know that god is trying to separate you but you're consciously and purposely doing the opposite can you win a war against god can you win a fight against god that's how jonah ended up in the belly of a whale because he did his own mind i don't want you to end up in the belly of a whale i don't want you to be in a smelly belly of a whale so for your sake just surrender surrender to god he knows he has your best interests at heart he knows everything about you he knows the hair on your head he knows what's your own hair and what's the brazilian and the wig on your head he knows that he's able to separate he knows your emotions he, he knows everything about you so why would we not yield and surrender to god when he says it's time to draw it's time to draw back it's time to retreat it's time to to, 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 to isolate it's a season of isolation it's a season of separation um so yeah those are the three ways that you can know and be sure that god is separating you and if you feel like that again surrender god here i am use me god here i am speak to me god here i am worship him get, open your bible get in your word be worshiping god to spend some time just praying god what are you saying to me what are you trying to say to me i've not been listening i'm sorry i've been so consumed in all these other things here i am
If you've liked this video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And again, remember that you are faithfully and wonderfully made. Remember that God loves you. Remember that this season is not there to kill you, to destroy you, but it is there to elevate you so that by the end of it at the end of the process god can present you as this person that's purified that's holy that's sanctified to him and he can go out and use you he can't use a dirty vessel and that separation is him saying i want to use you and before i use you i am going to have to clean and remove the stuff that's in there that is not supposed to be of him love you guys see you soon